Today there's less than one month to Christmas and that means that it's time to think about gifts. Speaking as a coffee lover, I don't think there are any better gifts than coffee gifts, so obviously that's what we're going to talk about today. But it can be a little bit tricky to buy gifts for coffee lovers. A lot of us suffer from a serious disease called upgrade-itis. That means that we tend to hoard a lot of weird coffee gadgets. So it takes a little bit of inventiveness to buy gifts for a coffee lover. If you're a little bit unsure of what to buy for the coffee lovers in your life, or maybe even yourself, then I have some pretty unusual suggestions for you. There's something for beginner coffee geeks and really advanced ones as well. I'll leave links to all these products down below so you don't have to dig around online. So the first gift idea I have for you is the Miller Drip. The Miller Drip is a really cool and kind of different gadget and that's what makes it a really good Christmas present if you ask me. The Miller Drip is a tool that will help you brew better drip coffee. Normally you use a gooseneck kettle to control the stream, but with the Miller Drip you actually have even more control over the flow. It sounds a little bit crazy, but it actually works really well in uh, real life. Another bonus is that it comes in a really nice packaging, the kind you don't really see that often, and I think that just makes it even more ideal as a gift idea. If you know somebody who likes to brew Harry V60 or Kalita, then give them one of these ones here, and uh, I'm sure they'll be really happy. The next coffee gift idea is the AeroPress Go. By now most people have heard about the AeroPress, but this is actually a new and slightly updated version. It's smaller than the original and then it comes with this cup here, which also doubles as a carry case. It came out a year ago and I've actually used it on a few trips already and I really like it. So even though it's great for home use, it's kind of a travel coffee maker. And I know there hasn't been a lot of opportunities for travel this year, but I hope and think it will be a little bit different in 2021. Oh, by the way, if you're going to give somebody an AeroPress, then pick up these filters as well. They're so much better than the ones that come with the device. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but uh, just trust me on this one. Your coffee will be a lot more tasty with these filters. They are called Asia filters, and uh, I'll put a link to them down in the description as well. We have been talking a lot about coffee grinders on this channel, and that's for a good reason. You need a good grinder if you want to make really tasty coffee. I actually have two suggestions here, depending on your budget. If you can afford it, then uh, I would go for the EasyPresso JX Pro. It's just a great all-round grinder that will work for any brewing method. However, if you're on a budget and you want to give a really nice present for somebody, then get the Timor C2. It's really good value for the money. And besides espresso and Turkish, it can grind uh, for most purposes. I have uh, reviews of both of these grinders, so you can find them here on the channel if you want to learn more. No gift list is complete without a book recommendation. If you want to get a nice book for somebody who's just getting into coffee, then the Coffee Atlas by James Huffman is an excellent idea. James is of course famous for his uh, YouTube videos, but he's also a really talented writer. If you know somebody who's a bit more of a hardcore coffee geek and maybe even considering opening a coffee shop, then I suggest this book by Colin Harmon instead. It's called What I Know About Running Coffee Shops and it's a really fantastic little book. It's about the coffee shop business, but I would say that even though you don't want to open a coffee shop, it's still a great read. It's not like your typical business book, it's a lot more fun and interesting. You can get both these books for Kindle pretty easily, but if you want to get a hardcover version, you have to be a bit faster if you want it before Christmas. The next present idea is one of the cheapest but most essential coffee accessories, if you ask me, and that is a TDS pen. I've had this one for three to four years now, and I use it almost every day. The way it works is that it will analyze the water for you and tell you the amount of total dissolved solids. This is really handy if you want to check if your tap water or bottled water is uh, suitable for coffee. So I know that TDS is a bit of a rough estimate, but uh, it's a lot better than uh, not knowing anything about your water at all. And if you want to play around with minerals and uh, make your own brew water, then uh, it's also really essential. Uh, this one here has served me really well, I'll put a link to it uh, down below. 
The next gift idea is something for the coffee lover who already has everything. These are the special Aventi coffee glasses. There are three different glasses in this box and the idea is that they each give the coffee a signature flavor. They are also designed in a way that makes it possible to swirl the coffee similar to wine. As a little disclaimer, I should say that I'm friends with one of the founders of the company and I have uh, worked a little bit with them in the past. So you shouldn't take this as a review or an endorsement. But if it's something you're curious about, you can check it out and uh, I'll put a link below and then you can decide for yourself. The next idea is the Clever Coffee Dripper. The Clever Dripper is just a really solid coffee brewer that will make a tasty coffee without too much fuss. The way it works is that you can steep the coffee in the dripper and then when you place it on top of a carafe, the brewed coffee will run down through the clever little locking mechanism. The Clever Dripper isn't a new product, but the reason I'm bringing it up on this gift list here is that you can now get it in a bunch of different colors, so you should check them out. Uh, the yellow one looks pretty cool. The Keflano Compresso is what I would call the ultimate gadget. It's a tiny espresso maker that will uh, make you a little cup of uh, genuine delicious espresso. It has a naked basket that can fit uh, 14 grams of coffee. It has to be a pretty fine grind size to work, but uh, if you have that, then you can uh, get crema. At the moment, you can pick it up for, I think, around 70 bucks on Amazon, so it's definitely pretty cheap for an authentic espresso maker. It's small, it's kind of fun and interesting, and uh, yeah, I would be totally happy to get this as a Christmas present. Another thing that I feel is a necessary part of a coffee gift list is of course some actual coffee. What I would suggest here is something a bit more fun than just wrapping a bag of beans up. Instead I want to suggest that you get a coffee subscription. This is a great gift idea because it's something the person who receives it can look forward to the rest of the year. My suggested coffee subscription is a cafe box from Norway. The special thing about this subscription is that they use the best roasters from Scandinavia. So it's only Norway, Sweden and Denmark, and then there's a new roaster every month. Cafe box are super professional and they ship worldwide with uh, free shipping. When you get a gift subscription, I think you can choose between 3, 6, 9 or 12 months, depending on what your budget is. One thing I should note is that Scandinavian coffee tends to be quite light roasted, so this is probably a better uh, gift for people who are real coffee snobs. If that's not the case, they also have an espresso option, so you can choose that one, and that means that the coffee will be roasted a little bit darker, but it will still be really good quality. Okay, those are my best coffee gift ideas. Which one is your favorite? Do you have anything you want to add to the list? Oh, and of course, if you have any questions about these products here, then uh, let me know down in the comment section and uh, I'll try to see if I can help you out. If you got any inspiration or ideas from the list then give the video a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee content like this then hit the subscribe button as well. That's it for today, I'll see you in another coffee video very soon.